Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Louis here. We are this weekend in Sasfe. This is an amazing place for adventure lovers. I'm going to go do a Via Ferrara down a gorge or canyon. We are doing some skiing. You can do some skiing even in the summer in Sasfe. I'm going to go around and show you the place and having a lot of fun. So let's go into it. Okay, so Sasfe is one of those rare destinations in Switzerland that actually does not have a train station, but it is no big deal. It's very easy to get to still. So once you get to Visp, which is a bigger transfer station, you get on a bus directly to Sasfe. So if you're taking a bus or if you're parking, you end up where we are now in this really big parking lot at the foot of the village. And that's because the village is pedestrian only. So from here, you can either walk into Sasfe. It's very small and walkable, but if you have a lot of luggage and skis, things like that, all of the hotels will have these little electric cars, similar like they do in Zermatt, that they can get you and get you to the hotel. So that's what we did. So we'll show you that and let's go get to Sasfe. We are staying at Hotel La Gorge, which is right behind me. We'll show you inside, but what's very cool about this hotel is it's really in the middle of the village, but it's also above this amazing gorge. The restaurant looks down into it. So it feels like you're a little bit somewhere more remote, but really I'll show you, we're just a five minute walk away from the village. So this is our room at the Gorge Hotel. Really nice, uh, actually with some wood, but uh, everything is, feels extremely new actually here. Yeah. There's a, a big terrace and there's a view on the Gorge actually that I'm going to see, so I'm excited. And here is our balcony. Pretty nice and big. There's a nice view on the mountains surrounding Sasfe. So I'm about to do the Alpine Gorge in Sasfe. Uh, this is about two, three hours, I think. You are with guides. It's a kind of a via ferrata. Yeah, we'll see what uh, what it's like. So they gave me my whole attire, my harness, my helmet, and I'm ready to go. Five meters, yeah. just to pass over. It's the same like when you go somewhere in the via ferrata. It's like we're in paradise, like we're in paradise. Right, we are at the end of our hike and Via Ferrada. That was a lot of fun. We arrived, I think, in Sasgrund. And uh, yeah, I think it was two hours to, to go down. We were a little group of uh, seven, eight. It was a lot of fun doing some swings while well, you, you saw it, but uh, I really enjoyed it. I would recommend it uh, for everyone. This was, this is open all year long. So you can do it really at any time in Sasfe, like the, the glacier hike as well. And uh, let's go on other adventures. While Louis explores the gorge canyon on like a Via Ferrata, I'm gonna walk the village. So beautiful, Sasfe. So I'm exploring Sasfe. As you guys know, I don't ski. One of the benefits of that is when you're in a ski village or a place that's primarily for skiers and you're exploring, the whole place is to yourself. So it's really quiet right now. It's like 10 in the morning on Saturday. And it's beautiful. It's a really, really cute little village. It's smaller than like a Zermatt, but it's pedestrian only. It's nice to explore. There's a lot of cute coffee shops and I think a lot of upper ski stuff for later. So I'm gonna keep walking around. I'll show you guys what I see. So like Zermatt, it's car free and so many other places, but you do have these electric taxis to get you around. If you're hauling a lot of ski gear, something like that. So we are now going to take some gondolas to go to the Mittel Alalin, which is, I think, two meters higher than the top of Europe. So uh, <laughs> that's top of Europe plus two. And uh, yeah, taking that uh, Alpine Express gondola, another gondola, and then the Metro. So you have the Metro Alpine that we are going to follow and go to the top. All right, let's get in. Whew. 
we went a little fast <laughs> the stairs and I definitely feel that I, I have less oxygen. So you have the revolving restaurant and the ice grotte. behind me and the reason we're able to stop and film in here totally quietly is because there is nobody else with us and for reference it is a Saturday afternoon and this is why we love to show you guys places a little bit outside of that central area which is of course very beautiful but if you're looking for these experiences within mountains within ice caves you can get them in other parts of Switzerland too and often have this like really amazing experience quite a bit more removed just yourself enjoying the mountains. So it's really cool you have actually different signs that say how old this ice is yeah. and this ice is old. Like as you keep going deeper <laughs> into the ice. 1789 for the French Revolution and it goes down. Yep, this is more. the birth of Ludwig the 14th. I'm not sure who that is, I'm sorry. Ludwig. Oh, yeah. look, look Ludwig of where? Oh, so cool. This is 1492, this is Columbus discovering the Americas. This is crazy. After the ice palace, you can go up, it's right next door, and you can go to the restaurant. This is a rotating restaurant, we can have an amazing view. We'll show you some, uh, some footage, and we're gonna have lunch. Let's go! It's open from 9 to 4, so great for breakfast or lunch, but let's go see. Have some, uh, some nice, uh, <laughs> Cheers. Cheers! In our rotating restaurant. And you see actually some pretty cool peaks, even if it's not the best visibility, it's still a, you can feel like it's huge. That's what happens in the mountains sometimes. Yes. <laughs> so we got a burger. I got Gersten Suppe, which is from Graubunden. Not from here, but I love it. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do? <laughs> so we are outside now. There is some kind of sun, but not so much visibility, we'll show you what it looks like. It's amazing, actually there's a lot of uh, fresh snow right now, so you have to choose <laughs> between visibility and fresh snow. But this is the rotating uh, restaurant. And now we are going back down. To Sasfe? Yeah, we finish lunch and we go back down the way you came up. So that yep. little metro first and then two gondolas down. And then right next to the bottom gondola station, there's gonna be the summer luge, but this is a luge actually that you can do all year round. So let's uh, try it. So we are back to the bottom gondola station. You have some buses here and we are going to go just down the street there to the luge, to the, the mountain coaster. All right. I think that she's gonna <laughs> get back to me. <laughs> oh my god, this is so fun! So? Yeah. yeah. So not far from our hotel, there is this big structure and this has a spa. So we received our badge, <laughs> we have our towels, let's chill! And we have a party after the skiing or any activities during the day. And I love this song. Oh. We had a drink at the Larix 
and now we are going to be a little bit less rowdy <laughs> but gonna be very nice and fun the fondue taking uh, the gondola and uh, eating a nice fondue but that's a fun thing to do all right let's uh, get to our fondue Good. hello so we are in a gondola right now so this is used for skiing during the day but at night it can become a fondue gondola so it's 70 francs a person it's something louis and i always wanted to do but we never really got around to it so we're doing it in south bay you get a bottle of wine and you each get fondue that they'll give us at the intermediary station and it's really fun it's at 6 30 so we're here at the end of march so it's around the time the sun is setting so it's still light outside and it's just a really cool experience when the gondolas are closed and we're gonna have a nice dinner and they even have some blankets because it might get cold and you want to be it's a bit cold yeah yeah, I but mean, it makes sense. That's part of it, and yeah. we're gonna be yes, eating up with the fondue. Once you start eating cheese, we're off to the races. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, danke. Hello. Brot. Oh, it's so this fun. Is magical. It's like an assembly line. It's it's like each stop, they bring different stuff. They brought the bread, they brought the cheese. And let's try the And fondue. now, oops. Oops. oh God, what a disaster. I'm leaving this in. If Louis thinks he's gonna okay, be like, perfect, I got it. it's fine. <laughs> in Switzerland, it's a big, faux pas if you lose your bread in the yep. fondue. Mm. I don't know why, but it is. Very good. So we thought we were done, but we are not. On the way down at the intermediary station, they gave us a little dessert, which looks like some kind of little cheesecake. And what I'm more excited about, they <laughs> gave us, um, it's like a Williamine, which is a pear kind of schnapps, but 40% alcohol, so it's, it's, you know, like a real spirit. Are we gonna have fun? Yeah, so we're gonna try it and see how it goes. It's the next morning and we're having breakfast in our hotel. And what's very cool actually is the restaurant kind of overhangs on the gorge, which is just a cool feature. So Louie and I are gonna enjoy a little breakfast, enjoy the hotel for the rest of the morning and then head to Sasgrund. So we are in the Sasgrund gondola to go to Horsas which is 3,200 meters uh, altitude, so very high up, and I'll be able to go see the glacier actually just next to the slope there. So I'm excited to, to see this. I'm gonna ski a little bit around and then go back and, uh, and I think uh, come back home. We'll see how the conditions are. Maybe it has worsened a little bit from what the webcam that I checked this morning, but uh, yeah, let's see and uh, have fun. Going on the top and I'm going to be skiing. All right, in my white desert. <laughs> Let's see if I find some glaciers. up there and here on the slope really really nice wow it actually feels even more authentic with that kind of snow and uh, <laughs> no visibility you feel like you're in uh, Antarctica almost there's more Wow, look at this here also. Yeah, well, this is a glacier, so it continues. <laughs> a very happy Louis. <laughs> there was nobody else but some fresh snow. I'm gonna meet back with Alexis, and uh, I think that will be it for our amazing SAS Fair weekend. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. We are back in the car. Louis was enjoying some skiing, but it's yes. snowing quite a lot, which yeah. for reference, we're here, it's almost April now. So you never really know what the weather you're gonna get in yep. the mountains. And that's why we always say to check the webcams, but you saw that maybe we didn't listen to our own advice in this video. <laughs> I and could still see my glacier. I was yeah. very, very, very happy. But we hope you enjoyed this video in Sass Bay. If you are into adventure and doing things physical, yeah. skiing or not, all year round, Sass Bay is a great place to visit. So we hope you yeah. enjoyed it. We're gonna get home now. I'm gonna show you what the roads look like. Cause it's kind of crazy. It's beautiful also. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, but catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.